Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode. Uh, this episode I decided to play Twisted Fate because, um, I, the, the last video with, uh, Zed was a split push video, so I wanted to go a more team fight oriented. I mean, of course TF can split push a little bit, but he always has his port to go inside team fight, so I wanted to choose an AP caster that was more team fight oriented. So, hopefully this video will be a lot different and teach you guys some more things about the solo queue in general and how to carry. Um, is going to quickly ward. I always use my ward super early. The ward will come back up when I need it uh, later on to ward against the, the jungler. So it's always good to just level one ward extremely early. Don't wait until like one minute. It just makes it so they won't invade you. Like over here, of course, would be a nice ward too, but I decided to ward here to prevent anything from over there. And then the ward's going to come back up in two minutes, so it's going to be back up around 2.50, which is about when he's going to be done with the second buff, then I can just ward again and I'll be safe. So, uh, Warding early is always effective, and it doesn't really put you at any downfall unless you get level 2 ganked. If you get level 2 ganked, you're kind of kind of screwed, but normally that doesn't happen that often. <clears throat> So, I'm against Katarina this game. They have a pretty tanky team, so it's going to be a little tough. It's kind of weird that Jax went uh, Exhaust versus the Riven, but we'll see how he does later on. So, in this lane matchup, I'm just going to harass her down with auto since she is melee, and she's probably going to be harassing me back, but I think I should be able to not die in this matchup. So, I'm just going to push with red cards, and hopefully push her under her tower so she has to see us under it. I don't really want to see us under my tower, so I don't really mind a little bit of harass. I can get back in the lane pretty quickly. I'm going to be probably going a uh, Chalice before going like maybe a uh, Lich Bane. I'm going to go Chalice because I don't really have that much MR, and I don't want to just get one shot from this Katarina. So just shoving this lane, making sure that I can uh, shove her into her tower, and then I'll be completely fine. She doesn't really have that good of wave player, so pretty safe. Uh, and it's not like she can push back against me. Nice job, Riven. So Riven's going to get pretty fed, I bet. So I was actually going to make a video about this, a separate video, but I can talk about it while I'm in this. Also, I'm going to be harassing her under her tower right here. Like, she's auto-attacking me and stuff, but there's not much else that she can do when she shun puts on top of me. Anyways, I'm going to ward over here to make sure I don't get kinked. Uh, so... I was going to make a separate video, and I probably will later on, but I wanted to talk about uh, being able to get carried. Uh, a lot of people don't like doing that, um, just being carried. This is hopefully going to turn into one of those situations where I don't even need to really do anything besides just play my lane. Uh, bot lane could actually be doing good down there, and if they do good and top lane's already winning, which seems that way because he just got a kill, uh, I don't even have to really carry the game, and a lot of people actually try to make plays when you don't need to. You can just carry pretty easily by running around and just getting CS and stuff like that. That was a weird gank. So, in this game, if my team starts doing really good, I'm not going to be doing any flashy plays. I'm just going to show you what the best way to do to win a game is, <clears throat> which is being carried if it really comes to that extent where my team is just doing amazing inside every single lane. I am really low right now and I don't have any health pots left so I'm trying to stay relatively safe but I might actually be able to get dove here so I'm kinda scared. <clears throat> just gonna keep on CSing. She doesn't have anything. Hit her there and this should be it for me. Yeah I'm out. Okay so I'm gonna back now and I'm gonna pick up my beginnings of my chalice. Valian's doing fine. I, reckon. I might lose a little bit of this wave, but hopefully I can get back in time to get the cannon minion. We'll see. Buy a health potion. So, gonna head back in the lane. Gonna probably miss the cannon minion, but at least I'll get these minions in the back. Riven's doing good top. And as Twisted Fate, maybe I could just give a bigger lead to Riven to the point where she's unkillable. I don't really need to help out bot lane if they're staying even, unless I know that I can gank that lane. But I could just probably dive top with Riven, which will be a much easier gank. Boy, I just got minion trapped right there. That was kind of weird. <clears throat> so, 
So Katarina back, she's probably gonna get a uh, Fiendish Codex first for a little bit more damage in CDR, and I'm just gonna stay in this lane and CS to the best of my ability. Uh, I have been missing quite a few CS for not really- oh, okay, see so if she got boots first to probably roam. So every single time that she goes missing, I'm gonna uh, ping everybody, but I'm just gonna pop Ghost real quick. Now I'm gonna counter harass because he used his jump and his W so he couldn't jump on me. And I popped Ghost, didn't want to pop Flash or anything there. I saw that Kha'Zix was on my, on my mini-map, so that's why I did that. She's just harassing me down, and... I'm just gonna kill that, and then throw cards to kill that one, and now I'm gonna back again. I'm just gonna keep on backing when I get low, I don't want to just start feeding, and... Every single lane actually is doing amazing right now, so... <clears throat> gonna do my best to not feed the Katarina, which could carry the game because she can just uh, shunt, like get resets and just pretty much shit on my entire team. Ravens get even more fed, and Katarina went missing, so I'm gonna ping her missing. I don't know where she went, and hopefully, yeah, bot lane will recognize that and not die to a gank. I missed another cannon wave, but it's okay because, <clears throat> yep, there she is. This is fine. Now I'm just gonna push the wave. And she pretty much wasted her time and no one got ganked. And now she's gonna miss a little bit of CS mid. She will take the top CS, but someone is gonna miss CS, whether it be the Jax or her, unless the, uh, the Jax comes mid right now, but it's really doubtful. Gonna push extremely hard. <clears throat> I feel really safe because she's gonna take a while to get back. And. Got my ulti now. I might be able to dive bot or something. We'll see. Gonna ward that. Thinking about where I should gank, if I should gank. Uh, bot lane is kind of too pushed in. I'm kind of nervous about ganking that lane, to be honest. Unless we, like, dove with Hecarim. If we dive with Hecarim, it could go pretty well. I'm gonna push this wave and then look top lane, possibly. Because the ribbon looks like she, she might stay. If she backs, then obviously I won't go top. But... Other than that, Eyes open. this lane looks completely fine towards me. So she ulties. This is okay. I'm just gonna throw my cards and back. Not gonna die or anything. I'm actually gonna rotate top right now. Unless. Yeah, I got him. So we got him together. Cool. Free kill. Gonna back now. Take out my pink ward. And now Riven has such a huge lead that she can probably just push top in 2v1. So because I helped her out a little tiny bit, she is gonna have a humongous lead. I am a little bit behind in my lane, but because of that humongous lead, I can just hopefully let her cause so much mayhem that the junglers now cannot go anywhere. So if one lane is super far ahead, the jungler is almost always forced to help out that lane. But if it's too far behind, the jungler can't help out that lane and will probably get double killed. Or he just can't really do anything and maybe he could just prevent uh, Riven from pushing the tower. Which will create opportunities for other lanes to make a lot of uh, plays. Because if the jungler is always stuck helping out the top lane, then obviously the other lanes are completely free to do whatever the hell they want. So, that's a small thing about what we can do since now this Riven's so fed. Uh, but some people also just completely ignore the lane, so the Cossacks might completely ignore the lane and instead go for other lanes because, I mean, it's too, like, hectic up there that he can't even help them, so he's just gonna say it's a lost lane and just let Jax alone. But if he does, then <clears throat> it's not like uh, the Riven can't just continuously push. I'm gonna ward this again since the Cossacks was there. I really wish that I had blue buff right now, but it's okay. Just gonna push... Uh, I think Kha'Zix is here, so you can see how, where she's walking to. But, uh, maybe not. Not anymore. It looked like she was... Yeah, he is here. Okay, so... I'm just gonna stay close enough to get experience, and that's it. <clears throat> okay, cool. I got the experience. I don't have my ult here or anything. They're ganking bots, so I can't really help them out. I don't know where she went. So I'm just gonna ping her missing, and I'm gonna quickly push out this wave just in case she goes bot to stop, uh, like try to get kills. Yeah, she is bot right now. So just gonna push this and get a lot of damage on this tower since Kha'Zix is bot. 
or top I mean, so once again, as you can see, Kha'Zix is trying to help out this Jax, not even going to be able to kill the Riven unless they like dive her really effectively, I'm getting a ton of damage on the tower and might be able to, uh, I'll be safe here too, so this is fine, unless she has her ulti, I'm completely okay. Oh my gosh, the last tick of Ignite killed me there. I thought I was going to live even if I flashed because the ulti hit me like two times. <clears throat> so that kind of sucks for me. I thought I was going to live there, but that's completely fine. Unfortunately, she got dove and they did it effectively to the point where uh, she wasn't able to get out of that. She has an okay lead. Good thing I'm TF. Uh, that even though I'm behind on minions, you can see that I got even more gold from this, so... Not really that far behind, if you think about it. Uh, she'll shun Poe away if I try to go in, but I'm just going to try to save the tower. And we're probably going to kill her here. Yeah. Here comes the Hecarim. He's going to get that kill. So, cool. Now he got a shutdown. I got a little bit of bonus gold from that. And was able to use my ult effectively to save the tower. Probably take this tower unless Kha'Zix defends it because of how much damage I've done to it from her roaming. And... Okay, he is here, but he's super low for some reason. Uh, I guess because he... I guess this was doing jungle for such a long time that he got really low from it. Got it, really low. Just need a few more auto attacks. I don't think I'm able to push this wave quick enough before Katarina comes back. Because of the cannon minion. The cannon minion is kind of screwing me over here. The minions might be able to take it. I don't know. We'll see. Throwing cards out. No, the minions won't take it. He's just going to tank them up. That's okay. He's too low to really gank any lane, so now we know that. Back. Going to get a little bit of CDR from this. And going to buy some wards. Definitely want some wards. Now, Katarina's heading top. Cat top. Okay, there she is. She's right there. And they're trying to gank her, um, unfortunately. Nice, nice, cool. So they outplayed her. I accidentally clicked on <laughs> Katarina there, so I was running up to like auto attack her, and then she died, so I stopped. Uh, bot lane is diveable, so I'm gonna push this wave and then head bot, even without my ulti, and just run up behind them because that will force them to give up that tower, and it's not like she can push against me. So the thing to remember uh, that you can do in the mid lane is when you have a lane that roams and dies, or if you just killed your lane, that is your time to freely roam without any repercussions. Normally, if I would roam, Katarina could push my wave, I would lose minions and stuff like that. But since she is gone, I'm going to ward here right quick. Huh? <clears throat> One second. It's nervous about this Kha'Zix. Oh, it was warded here. So I'm going to start killing this. Kha'Zix is here. He just ultied, so he doesn't have his ulti anymore. That's fine. I don't see him coming up behind me, so I should be completely safe right here, even though I'm a little bit pushed up. So as I was saying, uh, when your lane uh, opponent dies, that is your time to freely roam. I wouldn't really consider it for the top lane unless you have TP and maybe you can like do dragon or something. Normally you stay in your lane no matter what, because if you roam down as top, normally people take your tower pretty dang quick. So that's why top laners even take TP. Because if you don't take TP, then you will just... Oh my gosh, I just fat fingered. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, I'm dead. Dang. She's a lot stronger than I thought. She has a needless, so I died right there, unfortunately. I'm gonna have up my um, Athenes before I get back in the lane, so that's pretty good. Hecarim can hold the lane so she doesn't take the tower, and unfortunately since I died as a- no, hold it, hold it, hold it. Wow, he deals so much damage, he could have probably killed her right there to be honest. Her Shunpo was not the greatest. Uh, I would go top, but I don't have my ulti or anything. So I'm gonna look to gank a certain lane, I'll, I'm gonna go bot lane, so I'm starting to go bot. And as soon as I get into range, I'm going to mouse over this to see the range of my ulti. Uh, 
actually gonna go top. I'm gonna ask Hecarim to hopefully help. So Hecarim's gonna take blue, and then after he gets blue, hopefully he can head top. Right now. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna port in behind him. He can't really stun or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna ghost. I don't really care. <clears throat> Got a kill. And... Gonna just get some CS before going mid lane. Riven is gonna hold my lane and get all that CS that I would've missed, so that's really good. Gonna head back top. Uh, Cat Mia. We can kill Cat together if we just crowd control her, but... Unfortunately, it looks like our team isn't doing as hot. I'm, I'm not doing too hot either. Katarina's bot, so I'm gonna be able to push up this wave without really anything bad happening unless this Kha'Zix jumps on me. But I'm just gonna run away. Huh? Okay. He can damage me a little bit. It's not really like it did much. <clears throat> Jax is mid, so top lane won't be pushed unless Kha'Zix pushes it, but he's gonna head mid lane right now. I'm actually gonna build a Zhonya's first because of all the bursts that they have, and I don't really just want to get one shot. I want to be part of a team fight, be able to stun people maybe like two times before almost dying and then being able to Zhonya's and save a reset before the Katarina gets a reset, so that's my itemization. Plus it will also help me versus the Ezreal and the uh, Kha'Zix, that's really strong. Unfortunately, she is... Okay, cool. So she flashed away, so she lived because of that. Stunned the Katarina to make sure she didn't couldn't do anything. She used her DFG, so she doesn't have DFG now. She just has so much burst potential. Oh, we're going in. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill her. Okay, cool. That was a really good ult on his part. Now I got a double kill, so now I have quite a big lead. <clears throat> Just because of my passive, which will give me so much more gold than this Katarina now. Even though she has five kills, this gives me an extra, pretty much one kill. So, pretty even, or a little bit ahead because of the towers we got, too. Now I'm going to push down this wave. I have my ulti just in case, like, they need help down there. And I also have my ulti for top lane, but I'm actually just going to get the dragon. Trade dragon for the top lane. Going to head down there. Going to ward this. It will help us get a little bit of vision to see if they're walking through. As you can see, you can see them walking through. And just gonna blue card this and start killing it. It's not really like they can do much here. Cool. Got another kill. Gonna back now. And now I have a Needless. So <clears throat> we gave up the top tower for a dragon. Got a Needless, got a whole bunch of kills, got another tower, so we just got a whole bunch of global gold from that. So we have a pretty big lead now, and hopefully we can just continue off of this. I have my ulti just in case I want to gank this Jax if the Hecarim can do anything up there. Uh, but the Jax backed off way too soon, so I didn't ulti up there because I know that the Hecarim wasn't going to be there for a bit. Just going to queue this wave, going to take out a lot of the minions. And just get the CS, queue this, and I'm safe. Uh, I know that people are coming, so I'm going to start backing off. I'm actually going to ward behind me. Okay, cool. There's no wards here. He's killing my pink, but it's okay. I was thinking about going around, maybe porting in right there, if the Hecarim needed help, but... Looks like he didn't need it. So I'm going to look bot lane, because the Ezreal is by himself. I could probably port in behind him. And probably kill him alone. No, my god. He... Oh god, he lived with probably... <laughs> you saw how low it went to, probably like 20 damage. Oh fuck, that sucks. I thought I could kill him, and of course the minions also killed me. Yes, I think he did twice. I think he crit me twice. He actually went Infinity Edge first, and I thought I could kill him, but <laughs> wow, that was really unfortunate with the crit also. Just bursted me down really quickly. It's okay, though. <clears throat> We're not really losing that much off of it.
they're not pushing anything, they don't have any objectives to take because we already took the objectives. And right now, we're pretty fed, uh, Kha'Zix is in our jungle, uh, he's gone now. They have a split pusher and we have a somewhat of a team fight comp. I'm actually going to be able to face this Jack soon, once I get a Lich Bane, I should be able to fight him actually relatively easily, because uh, I could just... No... What the fuck? What? <laughs> well, I guess I don't get blue buff. Uh, the Jax has red buff, but he is really far behind. That's the thing. If he wasn't far behind, then I don't know if I could kill him that easily. Just gonna stun him. I'm gonna run away from him. The Katarina came in, so yeah, that kind of sucked. The Katarina must have been waiting. I'm dead too. <clears throat> Hopefully they can make something happen bot because two people are top and three are bot right now. So I think they are going to be able to kill this Ezreal. Cool. So we're going to lose top tower because of that. Really bad play by me because I thought the Katarina wasn't going to be there. Uh, that was just based off of vision and things like that. Uh, so going to lose top tower. Going to get my Zhanyas will help me inside actual team fights. If we probably 5v5 team fight, I think we'll do a lot better than actually making all off these small picks. I just thought I could easily do that since the person wasn't there. Uh, I'm gonna go top, uh, bottom because there's a whole bunch of minions down there and just gonna get that CS since nobody else is gonna go down there. <coughs> so Katarina is once again top. I'm not really able to help up there. Oh my gosh. I don't know why the Lucian went bot when I was already bought. Uh, kind of a waste, in my opinion. He could have probably went mid and started pushing or like went top to help. Anyways, gonna look to port just in case they make a turnaround. Looking to see if they do anything to turn this around top. No, they don't. Okay, cool. Just the luck of the draw. Looking mid to see if this uh, guy is just about to get jumped on. If he does get jumped on, then I'm here to help him. No, it doesn't look like he's going to get jumped on either, so... <clears throat> My CS is actually really low right now. I could have CS'd a lot better this game. This is kind of unfortunate how low it is, actually. I have my Zhanyas now, so I'm actually just going to push this out and then back, because Dragon's going to be up soon. So Dragon's going to be up soon. Zhanyas. Got my Zhanyas. So now I'm safe. And I'm ready to port in. Whenever my team needs me. So I'm just going to be wave clearing. Uh, not really making picks unless I see everybody on the map rather than just uh, one person. And I can I, also, when I use my port, I will be able to see where everybody is before deciding to port in or not. Uh, dragon's up in about 30 seconds. Really want to get that dragon. Uh, the Jax was top, so I figured that we can do dragon, but the Thresh backed. Maybe he can get back in time. We can start clearing out wards, hopefully when he's gone, so we're just clearing out wards, things like that. Jax is still top, so we should be able to take this dragon right now. We should be taking this dragon with Riven, and then Riven could have backed and protected top quicker. But since she backed, now it's a 4v4. I'm not even sure if we can fight a 4v4 uh, together. Because Riven's top now. Maybe Hecarim can like try to steal it or something, but for now... It looks like we're just giving up the dragon unless I steal it with this Q. Yeah. This is really unfortunate. Yep. Yeah, she got the resets. I don't know what to say. Even if Izania's there, I would have not been able to do anything. <coughs> Uh, we were split off in the beginning. Lucian was on one side, and I decided to go around the other side because that's where your team is. You should never split around team fights, around dragon. You always want to go from the same exact side. 
so that made it a lot harder on us. If Lucian was on our side, I think it would have been a lot easier to get some of those kills. Uh, I'm gonna have... Okay, cool. She got the kill. I was gonna have my port up, so I was gonna port it and try to get the kill just in case. Anyways, the next thing I'm gonna get is a Lich Bane, because... The damage from it will just make it so my auto attacks are a lot stronger. I need burst damage, and it will just add to my damage a lot, because right now all I can do is gold card and throw cards out, and it's not really dealing that much. With the Lich Bane, it's going to make it just a lot easier during these team fights, especially where I get to auto attack a lot, because they have so many melee characters. If they had like a Xerath, I probably wouldn't get a Lich Bane. <clears throat> so, going to head over, start taking my blue. I'm going to kill this ward right here, and... Still, in a 5v5 team fight, I think we we still have it, unless she gets really good resets like she did last time. And the reason why it lost so bad is probably because we were so split. If we weren't as split as we were, and we're fighting again, and I'm not even there, that is really unfortunate. I'm trying to help out, but everyone's really low right now. So we should just run away. Okay, cool. We got away. Now we can just wave clear. They don't have a minion wave. They cannot push. Okay, cool. They cannot push. They don't have a minion wave or anything. So I'm just going to throw out my cards right ahead. Those are old and hit them. Oh, well. Check if there's a ward in there. There isn't. <clears throat> so, if I do. that wasn't that bad. One person died. Oh well. The Riven's still extremely fed. Uh, not really scared of this Katarina right now, as long as I stay far enough back to where a point where I can cast Gold Card before she uses anything. So I'm going to save my card, since I'm against her. And this lane, she's walking back up. Be careful. I'm not sure where she went. So I'm just going to stay somewhat far away towards this tower. Yeah, she's definitely rotating over. And everyone's super low right now. No. And he does got bored to death. They keep on getting inside fights for some reason. So I'm going to ghost over here. To hopefully kill her. I don't even know if I can. Okay, cool. I was able to get the gold card, but died to Kha'Zix. This really weird fights, to be honest. <clears throat> well, you guys team fight a lot without me. I don't know why. <clears throat> So I'm still going to build towards that Lich Bane. Uh, they could probably stop them right here. Yeah, they're all going to die here. Or most of them. Yeah, that guy's dead too. We can now do Baron. Cool. So they threw a little bit. They overstayed their visit. And we should be able to get Baron off of this unless the Kha'Zix gets away. If the Kha'Zix gets away, it's a little bit risky because Kha'Zix Baron, Baron steal is just fucking amazing. So... Hopefully we're able to kill him right here. Okay, cool. I mean, I got a little low from that, though. So, it's a little bit scary. We just cannot let her reset. That's it. That's all we have to do. So, I'm going to save my card now. I don't see her anywhere. So, I feel pretty safe. We should be able to get out now. Oh, wow, you took that from me. Dang it. I'm actually just going to run top. It's not like I can get away from this. It's not GG yet. Please don't surrender. Katarina just has such a big lead. Holy shit. <clears throat> I thought with our team comp, we have a lot of fucking crowd control, but yet we aren't able to kill her. Uh, not sure why. I 
I can't defend this tower because there's too many people here. I'll just get CC to death, so I'm just gonna run mid. Just throw out cards. I won't be able to defend against the inhib either. So. I'm not sure why the Lucian just jumped in there like that. Cool. Killed her. Killed him. <sighs> and I'm I'm relatively fed still. I, I still think that we can win this game. Even with two inhibitors, if we lost all three then I think it would be over. But since we still have two inhibitors, I think we're okay here. I think I can still make this work. I can make this game work if I just play extremely well. So gonna be saving all my summoners for next team fight and hopefully I can make it work gonna buy a uh, hmm yeah I'm gonna I'm just gonna go for a void staff next just to get some uh, more penetration for the jacks because right now the jacks is the main thing that I'm killing the Katarina doesn't really jump in until I gold card she's playing really well to the point where I can't really burst her down so I'm just going to make it work by hopefully being able to kite backwards and just slowly kill people with my cards. <clears throat> just going to CS some more. And although this game is looking grim, there still is a small chance that we can win this, especially because the Jax isn't that strong. The Riven, if I can also make the Riven like just live during a team fight, I think that would be really amazing. So hopefully I could maybe save her or something like that and if she just lives then Charmed, I'm sure. <clears throat> she could probably carry the team fight with how fed she is uh, but the worst part is she doesn't have a last whisper yet so she dang if she just had a last whisper I think this game would be a lot easier than it is right now right now she actually doesn't deal that much damage so I'm just gonna walk over here gonna start killing this guy and I'm gonna run away because I don't want to die to this Katarina oh my gosh thank god so I lived amazing lantern made me live thank god uh, I'm not there so be careful we, we did good. We picked off his GA. That was really good on our part. I had to use my ulti to get it, but I still have my ghost for next fight to hopefully be able to cut the jacks. So, gonna go bot. They're gonna take the tower, so I'm just gonna give up the tower and defend right here. If we die, no, no, no. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. I don't like this idea at all. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we, we defended it pretty well. It's just a little bit more risky by not just giving up the tower, but it's okay. I thought more people were backing too, so if more people were backing then, yeah. Katarina, mid, nervous. Yeah, we really need to give this up so we can just defend back here. We should really defend back here. And kill her. Cool. So we're picking off kills. I have my ulti now. Uh, please don't. Please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Fuck. Everyone's dying now. Yeah. And I didn't even... I wasn't able to Zonius because I got fucking crit. Oh, damn. I'm so upset now. Dang it. I think we just lost because of that. Just give bot tower. My port was on Galio's ult, but my gold card, of course, immediately gold carded me out of the ult. Oh, nice pickoff. Good job. I, I still don't know if we're going to win. Um, There's just... There's... No, please. Be careful. Holy shit. We're getting our inhibitors back. If we lose all three inhibs, then it's GG. So hopefully they're able to defend this. Please be able to defend this. Okay, cool. We're doing good. We're doing good here. No, Lucian, what the heck? He could have just eat him and killed him. No. Now, oh. Oh, God. I hate chases like this, too. I feel like this guy's just going to get turned on. Like, they're going to jump out of the bush. 
Please. Please, no. Is he gonna get him? No. Oh, shit, the turnaround. That was barely turnaround. Holy crap. Cool. We got our inhib back. We can defend this. So, just... I'm gonna do my best at defending and pushing these lanes out. Getting, hopefully, blue buff, too. No! Why do they go so far? Uh, I'm just gonna go for this. Yeah, I don't know why he chased so far. That was... Oh, he missed his jump. He's dead. Cool. So, since we got someone, I think we're able to defend this. I'm gonna just throw out a Q. Hopefully she runs into it. Cool! I got a little bit of damage on her. If I just keep on getting a little bit of damage on her, I might be able to defend this. Okay, cool. She backed. Got blue buff. Able to defend this. Getting closer to my Void Staff. Once I get my Void Staff, we're gonna be set for this game, hopefully. And I don't make a stupid port like that. That was my fault. That was really bad uh, port by me. I could have ported like under the tower. Would have helped out so much more if I ported under the tower. But oh well. It is what it is. <clears throat> We're getting back our base, and with these inhibs up, it will mean that we can leave our base too. So we can like maybe defend against this Baron too. So I like how the game's turning out now. It was going bad at first, but now it's going pretty dang well. I would have enjoyed it if it wasn't this difficult, but. It is what it is. Ezreal's mid. Ezreal doesn't have any MR. Ezreal doesn't have anything to stop me from uh, queuing him for a ton of damage. So, I he might be one of my focuses if I'm able to get near them. 150 for Void. So, hopefully they can just let me get my Void stuff. They don't have any heals, so if, I, if I'm able to poke down the people who don't have heals, like Galio and stuff, that will also really help out. But for now, it looks like... They're gonna start doing the Baron or something. My- oh, fuck, I have my Void Staff though. Oh my god, this is the most unfortunate timing. I- I don't know, yeah, we should just give it up. Please, run, 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 run. Okay, so I'm gonna go buy my Void Staff and get ready to fight. Uh, for one of our inhibs. We could just give up the one inhib and then fight somewhere else too. So please, just don't get caught or anything. As long as we don't get caught, this is gonna be okay. Yeah, just give up that inhib. We'll fight at the other one. My blue buff is going to run out right here. That kind of sucks. I'm going to look to defend the uh, Kha'Zix. Oh, I said Kha'Zix because I saw Kha'Zix. I'm going to look to defend Lucian, and maybe like he can carry this. Oh, wow. Kha'Zix is actually getting poked down really hard. This is, this is, this is fine. So I activated my ghost just so I could run around more. Oh no, I don't know if I could defend this. I'm gonna buy home guards. <sighs> Oh my gosh, that Katarina almost killed me. We might lose all three inhibs though, fuck. I can't really defend this. No, oh, I can't defend this at all. My base is just getting completely demolished, please. Well, at least we got a whole bunch of money now, right? We're gonna get a shit ton of money from all this stuff that we're gonna get by the minions, but... <laughs> defending against this shit is gonna be hell. There is a small chance of winning in uh, a 3 inhib down, but... Oh boy, it is gonna be one tough ending for this game. Especially because even if we get an ace on them, the chances of us just pushing to win are really slim. Really slim. 
Uh, I'm just gonna save. Maybe I'm able to get like close to a death cap before before uh, they come back. We'll see. <clears throat> so we got Kha'Zix's GA. The Jax is pretty fed. The Ezreal deals quite a bit of damage, and the shield on Galio that they give to Ezreal just oh man, it's so hard to break through. Gonna have my ulti. Ghost isn't gonna be up for next fight, but hopefully I can just pray that we're gonna somehow make this work. It's all, That's all I can do right now. There's there's nothing much that I can teach besides don't leave your base. Do not leave your base if you have three inhibs down. You cannot leave your base at any circumstances. You will lose. And since we have no vision, we should always stay within this radius. We cannot get caught out. Like, this Riven is walking out a little tiny bit far. If they all just flash over that wall and killed her, it's game over. They can make stupid, stupid plays and just win the game. Because who would flash four times just for one kill? But at the same time, I mean, yeah, it's to win the game. One person down means <laughs> one person down. Oh, my ghost is coming back up. To, thank God. With ghost, I might be able to do something. No! Fuck. I, I got a red card there. Arn Hib's respawning soon. That's good. That's really good. We're, we're defending pretty damn well. No. No, I wasn't able to auto attack him. Oh well. Well, GG. I tried. Unfortunately, the game didn't go that well because we just kept on getting caught out. So and that's the main thing. We never really grouped as five. If you saw uh, grouping as five, just was the main thing. I mean, I go bot to push out bot because there's a huge wave, which would give it gives me around 350 gold, which is like one kill. So it's just the better thing to do to team fight after you have the lanes pushed. So that's what I was trying to do, but my team wanted to fight a lot more. Maybe I should have uh, done that more with them. So really unfortunate that I lost, but that's the reflections that I have for this game. Uh, I could have grouped more than splitting out the lanes before grouping, and just also vision with uh, being able to get vision before attacking and uh, trying to make plays by killing one person when there was actually a person waiting inside the bush. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope it was a little bit more informative. Uh, the last video I think was more informative than this one, but hopefully this one at least was fun to watch, and I will see you guys next time.